Bovine respiratory disease continues to rank among the most significant health challenges facing the cattle industry. BRD accounts for more than 50% of all newly weaned feeder calves treated for sickness, and average incident rates fall near 14%. However, producers can minimize the cost of the disease with some key management considerations. There's basically three places to intervene with respiratory disease. Prevention, specifically when we start talking about animal health tools, we're talking about vaccines, dewormers. You know, people often forget about dewormers, but if we're able to minimize the impact of parasitism on these animals, they're more likely to be able to respond to the vaccines and actually have an immune system that's capable of handling the challenges from respiratory disease. The second place where we can intervene is a control, right? And so that, what that refers to is uh, the anti-infectives that we have, particularly some of the longer acting ones, Draxin, Exceed, those products have a label for the control and treatment of respiratory disease, but that's where we're trying to intervene with those animals that are at high risk of developing respiratory disease. So keeping these animals from, um, from developing sickness, particularly the ones that are high risk, we can intervene with a control anti-infective product. Then the third place is obviously for those animals that require individual therapy, uh, we, we apply a, an antibiotic treatment at that time. As long as producers keep those three kind of principles in mind, prevention, control, and therapy, that will help ensure the best start for these calves as possible. The cattle that get sick, anytime during the feeding period, are less likely to, to not only perform, but are less likely to grade appropriately. So it truly has an impact on their ability to meet their, their genetic potential. Recognize this? It's your $1 per head beef checkoff investment that does all kinds of things to help make sure consumers feel good about buying your beef. Like working with chefs around the world to create new beef recipes and put more beef on the menu. Or educating healthcare professionals about how beef fits into a healthy lifestyle. Or by helping you share your beef story with those who have questions about where their food comes from. Get to know your checkoff and start sharing your views at mybeefcheckoff.com. The final chapter brought to you by Nevada's largest Angus program. Twin Rivers Livestock Total Angus Dispersion Sale on Saturday, June 8th in Escalon, California. Over 550 head of registered Angus sell. Spring pears, bred heifers and cows, yearlings, and the entire 2012 fall calf crop sell. Genetics representing these great bulls. For more information, including catalog requests, contact James Danicus and Associates at jdaonline.com or 916-837. 1432. We've used select sires uh, for a long time, probably for the last 25 years. Their service is second to none. Select sires has a lot of bulls that are our balanced trait bulls that, that really fit our needs. We've always had really good conception with it, and, and I think they've got a, a real nice li lineup of sires. They like bulls that have all the economic traits, all the numbers that we're looking for, whether it be cavities or carcass, and they put as much emphasis on structure and phenotype as any company we've worked with. We all have uh, essentially genetics that have something to offer to a lot of people, and that's where service differentiates the very good ones. For superior service and superior genetics, visit SelectSiresBeef.com. <laughs> 